Epiphytes is the name given to plants that grow upon other plants. In this case, growing on a Scots pine tree that has become isolated within this deciduous woodland. By growing on other plants, they can gain several advantages, one of which can be gaining access to the light. These broad, broad buckler ferns here, these epiphytes are closer to the sun because they're out of the, the shade of the trees and you can see that they are there in, in bright sunshine. You often find the common polypidae, another type of fern. It's a very common epiphyte. Also growing on this tree are birch trees. So deciduous trees hitching a ride on the back of a conifer. On the stem, or the trunk of the tree, there are various lichens and mosses. At the base here, we have luzula, the wood rush, growing quite a bit above the herb layer, again getting an advantage. Disadvantages are very dry times, they'll be lacking the water to grow properly, and other times they'll be lacking nutrients. The different nature of the bark of trees affects what grows upon them. Some trees, such as the pine trees, oak, will tend to be more acid, whilst other trees will be either neutral or alkaline, and that will affect what epiphytes are able to grow on them. Epiphytes are also very susceptible to pollution and are used as indicator plants, that is, particular lichens. Lichens can only absorb water through the surface because they don't have any roots. So if there's any pollution present in the air, then they get the full dose. So if certain lichens are missing, that can indicate that the air is polluted, whilst if they're present, it can indicate that it's good, clean air 